Ciao, this is Mark Marcantonio with some more tips on if you have dual AT2s, how to go ahead and update those. Now, I haven't been able to confirm with low rants what the best way is to update when you have two active target boxes on your boat. So I'm not sure if you can update both at the exact same time with one update process or whether you need to do them individually. So just to be on the safe side until I can find out definitively the best way, I'm certain that I've got to get the software update into both active target boxes. So, and it goes through the ethernet cable. So what I've decided to do was to update them one at a time. I've already updated the first one. And what I did was I have two active target ethernet cables going to the back of my HDS Pro 16, one for each box. So when I updated the first one, I unplugged one of the two active target ethernet cables so that I was sure that it was going into one box only. Now I've unhooked the second one and replugged in the first one and now I'm going to install the update into the second active target uh, two box by using the same file that was on the, the micro SD card that I already put inside the HDS Pro unit. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the storage folder again and I'm going to go to my memory card bottom, which is where I've got the SD card plugged into the bottom slot. And again, I'm going to where it says Active Target 23.3 standard.riw. I'm going to touch that file so that it's highlighted. And, oh, and then let me go back and show you again. I'll touch that file so it's highlighted. And then this box comes up asking what I want to do with it. I'm going to press upgrade and it shows the software version so what you have to do next is you have to touch this to highlight it and you see a box comes up with a check mark in it saying it's selected and on the bottom here you can see in the bottom right corner it says start upgrade so you press that and it's transferring the data real quickly you can see the progress over here okay it's extracting now the data from the file it's synchronizing the file systems in the at2 box and we have to um, keep waiting for that it says the progress is 100 percent, but you still have to wait remember because it's still synchronizing the file systems now it's rebooting the module so have patience when it says 100 percent, remember don't stop the process because it still has to synchronize the files reboot the module and it'll tell you when it's completely finished there'll be no doubt okay so it's rebooting the module it shows you the progress here 14 15 16 percent we'll go through that and again, this is all going through the Ethernet cable back to the AT2 box that I have mounted in my rod locker. And we'll let that go through this process. And again, I don't know if you need to do this individually one at a time with the Ethernet cable of one unhooked while you do the other. But that's the way I'm doing it for this video. We'll see how that works out. And if there's a problem, I'll let you know at the end of, the, of, the, um, of this video. Okay, it's at 50% now. And again, make sure that your active target box is turned on before you start this process and then turn on your HDS Pro or Live or Carbon and uh, manually download the or manually upload the .riw file for active target. We're at 75%. And we're almost there. By the way, another good tip is don't ever um, disconnect or connect transducers or even Ethernet cables from your units while they're powered on. You should always have these, these powered off when you unhook any of your cables. You don't want to hot swap a transducer because that could cause a surge and cause a problem with the unit. So you don't ever want to do that. Okay, you get a message now that says upgrade is complete. So I can go ahead and press okay. 
shows up here. The upgrade is complete. We're at 100%, and now we're, we're finished. I can go ahead and close it out. And we are, we are done. Okay, I hope that helps show how to update your active target units. The process is the same for either active target one or active target two. It's even the same for updating uh, the um, 3D structure scan as well, or any other box that you have. Uh, you do it manually with the .riw files, work, uh, programming them through your HDS unit. This is Mark Marcantonio. Ciao.